it would be wrong to start looking at the seaside without thinking about everybody's favourite treat, ice cream. Now, ice cream first became really popular in Britain in the early 1800s, at the end of the Napoleonic Wars, when lots of Italians moved to Britain and brought with them gelato, Italian ice cream. And very quickly, this could be bought from street sellers all over the country, especially in seaside places. And you would go to the vendor, you would give them a penny, say, and you would be given your ice cream in a cup like this. This is known as a penny lick because it held a penny's worth of ice cream and you licked it straight out of this glass. You might notice it's got very thick glass. That was brilliant because it magnified the ice cream inside it so that it looked like there was more than there actually was. And this little shape, the actual cup the ice cream would go in, is a cone shape. So it's narrower at the bottom. Again, it held less ice cream than it looked like. And once you'd licked your ice cream out of here, your pennies worth that you paid, you would give this glass back to the seller who would rinse it in some probably quite dirty water, maybe wipe it with a bit of a rag, put another scoop in and give it to the next person. So for your one penny, you not only bought ice cream, you also bought the chance to catch tuberculosis, cholera or some other horrible disease because they didn't get cleaned properly. And because of the cone shape, it was actually quite hard to get to the bottom of them, even if they wanted to clean them properly. But in the early 1800s, people didn't understand disease. They thought that diseases came from smelly air or kind of smelly water, not from people passing it to each other. And it wasn't until about 1850 when John Snow, um, a scientist for the first time, linked cholera to a specific water pump in London. And Louis Pasteur discovered bacteria and microorganisms that made fer fermentation happen. And around this time, people started to get a little bit more suspicious about these penny licks. They were banned in London in 1899 because they were thought to pass TB and cholera around from people to people. And shortly after that, the ice cream cone was invented.